scratch the surface? Um, or do you feel like you're the guy, maybe, that they've established somebody? When you get the ball 28 times, it seems like you're the guy. Uh, I think the coaches, when someone gets the rhythm, they just, they're going to keep giving them the ball. So whoever gets that rhythm, whoever gets that hot foot, they're going to uh, feed. And you're ready, you're ready to eat. I am, I am, I really am. <laughs> Zeke, what's the difference between you and Carlos? Um, he's more of a bruiser type back. Uh, I like to get outside more. I have a little bit more finesse to me. You had, I think, 112 yards after contact. How much do you pride yourself on a stat like that? Uh, that's that's definitely one of our core values in the running back room. That's just uh, getting those yards after contact, fighting with those uh, extra efforts. And both coaches, the Coach uh, Warner and, and uh, Furman, said you really did a nice job getting your shoulder square, get, turning up field. That's something you really worked on? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. It's something that uh, all the backs and coaches Drayton, we work on uh, every day. If you're a little more finesse than Carlos and you like to get outside, I mean, do you – Embrace the yards after contact set, or are you trying to avoid those getting touched at all? Um, I mean, just being a running back, you know, you got to be tough. You got to be, you have to have some bruise to you, you know. I mean, you can't just be all outside, you know. You got to have a downhill aspect to you. So, I mean, just, uh, it just depends what plays the offensive coordinator calls, and uh, you just got to go with it. They talked a little bit about your style of hitting, not, not hitting the guy square, but kind of, I don't know, use the word edge, I thought, kind of. To move around and not take, not try to run over a guy, so you don't take as many blows. Well, yeah, I wasn't. I'm not as big as a back as Carlos, and uh, so I can't take as many hits as him. So you know, I just got to protect myself a little bit and uh, find different ways to get those extra yards after contact. Urban's been talking about JT Barrett's command of the offense. How forceful is he as a leader? And have you seen that improve as the season's gone on? Oh, definitely. But since day one, when he knew that he was going to be the starting quarterback, you know, he took control. And uh, I think it's something we really needed, and it's helped us a lot. How loud is he? Um, he he's a loud dude. I mean, he does a little something that Braxton doesn't do. You know, he kind of he, he speaks out a little bit more. And, uh, I mean, that's, he's a little bit different in that aspect. In the heat of the, of the game, does he ever, like, yell at anyone? Uh, I mean, does he ever, like, assert himself as the leader of this team? Oh, definitely. I mean, you see that in the game. You see it in practices. You know, he just he's the field general. He uh, takes control. He does a good job with that.